Hey guys, I am back again, and this is the ripened strawberry kit. Okay, so let me show you what I put in this one. I've got some red silk ribbon that's wired, some of Lisa's beautiful sari silk, and if you buy one of my kits, you get 20% discount if you buy $5 or more from her shop um, on any sari silk or item in her shop, I believe. And this is some red stripe seam binding here. Not red stripe, red strip of seam binding. And this beautiful coral um, floss to sew in signatures or onto your pages. And again, I always try to make the floss contrast the book covers in case you, you know, you, you can use this for a stash or you can literally use it for this uh, kit. And then I put in some of the um, eyelash trim with pom-poms it's got some little pink pom-poms and some raffia and some red and white baker's twine this little cupid is so adorable and it came from marcia it was in her romance kit isn't it cute and perfect this little charm it's so cute it's so perfect and that was in her bag her romance um bag and you've got a little tag some buttons in a pretty pink that's still on their original card meant for three buttons original all three are still there and a heart uh, die cut okay so those are the tidbits um, for this kit for fabric I put in some of the heart um, piece I think you can cut these out you can make pockets it's red it's pretty you can even probably use these for a uh, retro kit anything polka dot red yellow to me is retro um, here is some scrap pieces of floral red and pinks um, sort of a dark mauve and pink and some gold flowers another uh, scrap piece of a really true red and there's a burgundy purplish and some pink and some of the uh, pretty pretty light linen um, images in this beautiful red and ivory and this is an avocado dyed piece and I put this in here you can't see it on camera but it's cotton and I avocado dyed it and the reason why this is here is because I used some of this for the tattered kit that has already sold and then you've got some a larger remnant, a different darker red than this red here. And then there is some lavender lace and some burlap from the Dollar Tree. If you're new to my channel, I do not shop at uh, new stores for my product. Everything I have is found, rescued, flea market, bazaar, warehouse, thrifting, goodwill bins, um, you know, little tiny little thrift stores, booths, um, the, the gamut, right? So, but I did for this, uh, Valentine series go out and I had to have this pink, uh, pretty, um, burlap for these kits. So that is modern and new. There's some vintage eyelet and you can't tell on camera, but, um, it is old and it is a baby pink almost a vintage shabby chic pink more so than a baby pink and then here is some lace with some pink and white and here is some more pink trim here and this is really tiny like small my hands are so dry guys this weather has been crazy and I my skin is usually never like that if anything it's super oily because I love fried foods, which is bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, my hands have been so dry because of the weather. It was 12 degrees here. Um, and it's just been, com com you know, just uh, crazy. Um, but yeah, it, it's freezing. Um, but it's supposed to be 68 degrees on Saturday. So we're going to bounce back up into the, the warm days, which I absolutely love. And then you get this very vintage, pretty... Um, hanky that is in immaculate condition it's pretty in the teals and pinks this one the pattern is a little different than the other teal pink hanky I put in some other kit but I love this for the pockets um, or you know just uh, wrapping a book in it if you don't want to cut it up 
All right, and so there's that. Now for the paper, for this one, you've got the large ledger. My avocado dyed in a pink. I think I put an avocado dyed piece in there in this grungy pretty pink. A coffee dyed piece in there. And these are really large papers. And there's a big piece of map. So you can make tags or pockets or um, what have you with that. More avocado dyed. More avocado dye. Some coffee paper. That's tea dyed, I'm sorry. This is coffee in a pretty teal blue. Coffee dyed. Coffee dyed music paper. Some red cardstock paper. Pattern paper that has been coffee dyed, and I've had this for a long time. Um, this paper here and a red doily pretty some vintage writing paper that's very grungy and brown that came from the estate sale some pink copy paper music paper and a large sheet and another different kind of music paper that's perforated on the side or has the little um, you know what those are called guys um, so that's really pretty and useful um, let's see, here are some vintage, um, here's a vintage sheet from an old planner that's in red, pink, I'm sorry, and blue with some writing on it. The back is free. Um, let's see, there's some children's book, uh, book pages. And some pretty dear grandma, grandpa, um, valentine pieces with some images of children cutting out valentines. And there is True Love, a poem. And these two little cute lovers or friends um, writing out Valentine's. I love you, Joe. And there's Joe and her. The arrow is obviously pointing at the two of them. And look at her little shoes. He's barefoot, <laughs> which is really cute. Um, some dictionary page, vintage from a child's dictionary. Some vintage coloring book. Some Shakespeare, and this looks like two lovers and maybe a quarrel or something is going on. That's from Much Ado About Nothing. Um, this pretty, pretty vintage, uh, grungy brown, um, when all else is gone, poetry and these beautiful images of cupids and flowers and um, trees and cupids sort of hanging out and spreading love, I suppose. coloring book um, I thought these ladies were pretty cool looking and this lady she actually looks like a man to me <laughs> but I don't know I thought that was really cool and I'm not sure what's going on with her but I put it in there and here's some Valentine in blue and Cupid teachers Valentine ABC's an old-fashioned Valentine Here's a Valentine wish poem, and these are all vintage pages. Um, this one says, this day is mine, Valentine wishes. Invoice, a pink bag, some writing paper, a different kind of dictionary paper with a larger font, handwritten, handwriting. I tried to put words in here that might appeal to um, a Valentine's kit. Or you might use this as part of your stash, add it to your stash. Um, more uh, more uh, dictionary page. One of those grungy old stamp collector's book pages. A book I rescued from the dump. From the dump, dump, dump. I actually got it at a thrift store, I think. And I just, I don't know. Um, it was just all beat up at the bottom. And I've shown that on, on a camera before. That one could have actually been in the dump. I'm not sure. Um, there's a large dictionary page. The word drama is on there. And dictionary itself. This looks like a Christmas image, but it says for my snowman, snowstorm valentine. And they're um, putting notes and 
Valentine pieces. That's a children's book page. Some images. And she's really cute. Adorbs. Adorbs. That's an Elizabeth Barrett Browning um, work. Uh, Marie Antoinette. And I got this paper from um, Diane. It's got some numbers and scales and all kinds of cool things um, that you can collage with. And here is some pink red writing. Vintage. Okay, and there's a poem page. More invoice and a different size. Grungy white, ivory. More sonnets. Uh, I think those are Shakespeare sonnets. I'm, I'm pretty sure they are. And here's another image of these lovers. And she's looking pretty dapper. More poetry. Um, that's from Samuel Coleridge. Williams Worthworth. <laughs> Uh, some of my colleagues from the distant past used to call him William Words Worthless, which is terrible, 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 terrible. Writing paper, contemporary, Burns, Robert, poetry, a map page, a different texture than the one shown um, before. Um, more vintage book pages, very fragile book pages, the Queen's Necklace. A contemporary uh, piece, The More I Know You, The More I Like You. Um, book pages of lovers some of my coffee dyed uh, envelope um, this I believe came from either Marcia or in Diane's um, packet they both when they sent me um, the things I ordered from them they sent these really cool packs with all kinds of little goodies in it um, and Diane's a lot of hers I've used uh, the especially the stamps um, throughout the kits and Marcia um, from then and there I've used a lot of her like all of most all of her uh, pieces in different um, kits mostly the gothic kit uh, let's see this cute little lady here and that's on a vintage hallmark piece popcorn bag a popcorn bag and this little uh, piece of wrapping paper a vintage estate fine postcard unsigned unused a pink message pad piece i wrote on i think i told you guys i wrote a note to my niece um on one of these and tucked it in a, a journal that i got for her that um yeah that i gifted her actually so there's that that's just a scrap piece an envelope a skinny envelope hearts and hearts and here is a copy of um, one of the originals that went in one of these kits somewhere. And there's another postcard copy, scanned image of a piece that went in one of the kits, the original somewhere. And there's an original, beautiful, 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 original handwritten uh, 1925 letter. It's opened here at the top. The letter's still in there, and I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. And that can be scanned and used over and over again. Here's an original uh, to the one I love. It's sort of got that embossed feel to it, as you can see here. And this one does not have a date, but I assure you it is vintage. I would even argue antique. That's original. And there's a little scrap piece there of some cute little girls with hearts looks like a prince is coming out to meet her dude over there and you can see the ladies in the background dancing their strawberries and hearts really pretty paper original how sweet uh it isn't and there's a pretty strawberry jello um, image there that i thought was really cool to stick in um, a strawberry ripened strawberry kit Pink vintage writing paper stationery. Old book uh, book page floral with some a little cute family on the front there. I think that's adorable. That can be colored in or used as a prompt writing prompt. Shakespeare page. This is from the Tempest, and there's a Cupid and Psyche page, and that's old and vintage. And let's see what else. Oh. 
I'm sorry, this actually goes here. I think I doubled up on that. I always try to make sure that my, um, actually, no, that's the right one. My, um, I was trying to go with a strawberry, ripened strawberry theme. So I always try to make sure every kit has what I want in it. And if it takes me to double up on some things from time to time, that's what happens. A pink umby, a red umby, and some ice cream, um, ice cream pies. That's an ice cream pie. That looks really good, actually. Yummy. Um, and these are those 1970 cards. Uh, cooking cards pink and red bingo this is from my great auntie's book and look at that red cake nothing says um you know valentine like a cake like that that thing looks like it is full of fat <laughs> uh, let's see more poetry and there's one of my paper doll pieces and that's vintage very vintage I got those at an estate sale and yeah and then here's a cute little um, girl here that I thought was adorable sometimes I pause like that so that I can get a, a picture of that there's something that I made there and there's some ephemera guest check ephemera invoices Another cute little adorable um, image there, and it's signed on the back. This comes from my aunt's estate, and um, this one, uh, let's see, how to help keep your repu reputation spotless, I think is about um, ban and new dry deodorant. And then it's got this really cool retro i would argue that this is probably a little bit later than retro that these are more like 70 60 ish ads um there's a napkin with hearts for decoupage a red tag a pink index card and this little lady came off the front cover of an old um paperback book and i thought she was just really 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 smoking flash card money um, another different kind of bingo card in red and white. And a game piece, a paint chip, some retro old, maybe not retro, those are probably 80s, uh, file folder, um, what do you call them, sticker file tabs, labels. <laughs> okay, and then here's the rest. This is a 1972 card, tarot card. One of my avocado dyed um, miniature envelopes. Game pieces. Okay, and because guys, I am back in school and back in the classroom teaching, I'm teaching um, quite a bit of courses this semester. Um, I will not be as vocal and as present on your videos and channels as I usually am. Um, some of you are probably breathing a sigh of relief. <laughs> I would be. <laughs> um, here's the book, and that's what I call ripened strawberry. Um, and it's got the page some pages in there and they are so pretty and red and this one had the scarlet um, By what is that by Baroness somebody? Um, Tom Sawyer and so on Robin Hood the merry adventures of Robin Hood and so yeah And this book um, was dated. These are all pretty old. This one's 1967 so they're from the 60s and they're nice. And that one came away beautifully. Um, Marcia made these and I know I keep talking about her because, you know, I, she's sort of where I've left off um, in terms of what's really in my brain right now. Um, she just sewed right down the sides of this um, on her book. You can see that on my sister's book here. And this is a Reader's Digest book too. These are a bit more sturdier. 
um, than these. And there's some that are older that just crack when you open them. But she just sewed right down the center or the crease there. And I thought that was really, really cool to give it a lot of strength. Okay, so there's that. And I have purposely, I've seen my sister 30,000 times and have purposefully held on to her book so that um, I can use it as a reference. And then it's all hers. I am giving it to her. <laughs> so okay guys i gotta go i'll see you later and like i said i won't be as vocal or as around on your channels um but i'm sending lots of love and happy crafting to you guys it's been a wonderful um month and two week break for me and um i hope to keep checking you guys out when i have some time and as time permits bye guys adios sale pues orale pues